FM Interact provides a robust yet easy to use set of tools for finding information in the system. Perhaps you are new to the organization and have been asked to use the intranet to find an individual. When you log into the site, you notice a find feature in the upper right hand corner and decide to give it a try. You type in Sandra because you remember her first name. The results are displayed showing some contact information. Because the system is in a browser-based environment, clicking on an item might open up the details, and in this case the graphic location as well, for Sandra Carsoni. Let's say you are a maintenance technician and you've been handed a work order for an air handling unit. In this case, we'll purposely be vague and type in AIR. You'll notice that there were over a thousand records found. But instead of simply displaying a big laundry list of stuff, FM Interact categorizes the items. If you'd like to see all of the records within a particular category, you certainly may. But because we are in a browser environment, you can use your back button to go right back to the search results. AIR was found in a space type, a person's name, and even though in this configuration we've decided not to display the description, because perhaps our technicians typically use asset tags, the system can still search for the description if desired. A click of the record might display the location of the air handling unit, as well as the manufacturer, model number, when the item was placed into service, and much more. In cases where information might span multiple locations, buildings, and even floor plan, FM Interact provides data views to view and edit details. A grid appears at the top of the data view. Within the grid, users can sort on any heading in ascending or descending order. While users can certainly page through the records if desired, in most cases filtering the information down to specific types of records is beneficial. The Query tool offers the ability to store commonly used queries such as the number of offices or perhaps the number of conference rooms that can accommodate eight or more people. Users looking for specific information can take advantage of the wizard-driven query to build simple or even complex queries that can be used immediately as well as stored for future use. Fields can be selected from drop-down lists that show both the database field names as well as the common name known by most end users. Operators provide the ability to search for specific values where the capacity, for example, is greater than two. For those with more advanced query writing knowledge, the query expression can even be manipulated to compare two separate fields. In this case, we are looking for spaces whose capacity is greater than its occupancy. In that way, we are creating a list of all spaces where an occupancy might exist. Introduced in version 8.1, the new filtering tools enhanced capabilities even further. Filters can be used with any heading. They provide instant results in the data view to showcase all of the records that meet that specific criteria. For example, we might be looking for all of the spaces in the 900 building where the word office appears in the room name. For those individuals that know their facilities by heart, they might simply take advantage of the search tools within the data view. These differ from the global search capabilities in that they provide only those records within this data view that meet that criteria. As with almost any piece of information within FM Interact, there are ways to get back to a graphical representation of a floor plan as well.